The graph of the derivative of function f is shown below. At what value of x does function f have a relative maximum? Okay, so this is the derivative. A relative maximum occurs when your derivative goes from positive to negative because that would represent a relative maximum. What I need to do first is find out the critical points for that to happen. So since this is the derivative, I care about where I get a zero, which is negative two and at one. So I can make a sign chart of f of f prime of x based off of that information at negative two and at positive one. To the left of negative two, I'm in positive land. And at negative 2 to 1, I'm below the x-axis. And from 1 on, I'm also below the x-axis. So right here at negative 2, I go from positive increasing to negative decreasing, which means I have a relative maximum at that guy right there, negative 2. So that's how you do it.